We wake up in the morning and get the kids breakfast. Then I mop floors, but I don't get enough money from that. Our children go out to work, promised 800 rupees, but they only get 600 rupees. The owners don't give them anything to drink, no tea, no water. Then we go pick up manure, and those people don't pay us enough either. And then finally, we go to our daily job, and they promise us 200 rupees, but they only give us 150 rupees. That's how hard it is. Then we go out to the farm and the plantation owners won't give us our share. When we come home, our children ask for food. We haven't even been able to buy them one piece of clothing. It's always been hand-me-downs from our bosses. And then their dad fell into a well, and since then, it's been even harder on us. <coughs> I have a son. He is two years old. We rely on helping plantation farmers out. We have no other income besides what they give us. From this income, we can't give our children what they need to succeed. We want them to do something important with their life. We were in the seventh grade, but we didn't have enough money to continue our education, so we moved to Punjab to work on farms. We plant rice to harvest wheat and whatever else we could do to make ends meet. However, we don't get enough money from this, so we couldn't continue our education or our children's education. Where we live, there was no work that we could do, so we were forced to move out of our house, and now we're just trying to get by in life. My husband helps out wealthy farmers, but he doesn't make enough money to give our children the finest education. Our house is really small, yet there is eight of us that live in it. I get bushels of corn sometimes for 400 rupees, sometimes for 600, and then I sell them for 10 or 15 rupees for each corn cob. And with this, by the end of the day, I make 200 to 300 rupees. Not all my kids live with us because we can't provide for them, let alone give them a good education. We have to move around a lot for our business, so we can't keep our kids with us, so they stay at their grandmother's house. It costs a lot to take care of them, so that's why we only bring one or two children with us. To be successful in school here, one has to pay for private tutors, which we can't afford. So my son failed ninth grade and went to work. Now, three out of four of my daughters don't go to school and work on farms. My youngest still goes to school, but she'll have to quit soon because we can't pay for the tuition and private tutors. I wake up in the morning, eat my breakfast, and then I go help my mom with her work. We do hard labor every day and are really tired by the end. Our house is really small and the income my mom brings in isn't enough, so we have to work as well. We've been working since we were little kids. My father got hurt. My parents took me out of school because we didn't have enough money to pay for his treatment and pay for the house, so I had to start working. My dad can work some, but not enough to provide for the family. So all of us kids have to work. It's really hard to have a job and do housework as well. 
We'll leave at 6 in the morning and the plantation owners won't even let us sit until the sun goes down. I used to go to school. Coming home from school, I saw people getting paid. I realized by working I could get money, so I decided to get a job. I started off working two to three days and made a lot of money, or so I thought. I was going to continue my education and work at the same time, but this didn't happen. The idea that I could provide money for my family made me want to work. I wanted to get an education, but because of the poverty we lived in, I couldn't get an education. The tuition was too high for our families to afford. Poverty buried us so deep we can't get back up again. I used to go to school, but I had to help my mom out in the mornings, so I had to quit school. I've only received education till the 8th grade. I had to go pick up manure early in the morning, help with the animals instead of go to school. This is how we make ends meet. Now my younger siblings go to school, but my older siblings have also dropped out to help with running the house. We have to help build our withering home, so we have to work. Our dad can't work as hard either, and all his income goes back to his treatment, so we have to take care of this house. We are poor people, and we don't make enough money, so we have to bring our kids along to help out. We don't have the money to let our kids go to school. We barely make enough to survive. My name is Utpal Singh, and I sell grapes while my parents sell grapes somewhere else. My name is Sukraj Singh. I have to help out my parents by selling grapes. We don't have enough money to continue our education, so we have to go to work. I wanted to continue my education, but the government here does not help, so how can we get an education? If the government asks for this much money to go to school, then how can we get an education? My parents wanted me to go to school, but I thought by working I was helping my parents, so I continued working. However, I would have been better off if I had gone to school. Now my parents are talking about marriage, but I can't get married until I have enough money to pay for my dowry. I have to work hard for myself and my family, and no one helps us. We hope our children can be successful, but we don't have enough money to send them to medical school or law school. Because we don't have enough money, our dreams were shattered. I wanted to become a nurse after I completed 12th grade, but that never happened. Instead, I had to become a maid. And since he fell into the well, all the income goes into his treatment. And since then, we just have to work to pass the time. Our house is falling apart, and we have four girls that need to be married. Their father has to this day not made enough money to buy them shoes or a scarf for their head. We rely on the mercy of the plantation owners. Thank you.